Kel Nagel got the nickname of Pimble Crusher for his length off the tee. At one stage, he was the longest hitter on the Australian tour. He was also one of the wildest, so he cut down his swing arc to get more control and developed his short game instead. Soul of quiet, good-humoured sportsmanship. Nagel's drive, the drive that won nine international championships. Nagel's putter was called a centre shaft putter. It's a far cry from the high-tech putter designs of today. Nagel, who's putting well, puts this easy one away. Royal Melbourne Greens for the Canada Cup were like glass. They are as quick as Augusta, if not quicker. Royal Melbourne Greens take no prisoners. If one is not a good putter, they are in for a frustrating day. Having said that, the greens are always true. Hit the ball on the right line, the putt will drop. Hello, I'm Barry, the Grey Golfiatric. I first saw Kel Nagel at the 1959 Canada Cup. He was on the practice putting green with about 10 golf balls. He was putting from about 8 feet and filling the hole up with golf balls. He would miss about one putt in 10. I was one of several caddies that were watching Nagel. What made Nagel special for me was the way he answered our questions with unfailing courtesy. Nagel had the reputation among his peers of being a complete gentleman on and off the golf course. I see no reason at all to disagree with that assessment. Of course, what also made Nagel special was his skill with a putter. In my opinion, he is up there with Bobby Locke as one of the best wrist putters of all time. My next video is about Peter Thompson. Until then, good golfing.